guys welcome back to my channel we are starting a three day today the first trip of the new year and it's honestly not a bad trip but i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did not want to get out of the bed this morning and i was hoping i would wake up and my trip would be gone <laughs> but that was not the case but today we are going to kansas city missouri just one leg so we'll get there at like one in the afternoon it's 8 30 right now i'm on the way to the airport my sign-in is at 10 30. um but we just do one leg to kansas city today it's like a 16 and a half layover or something like that so we'll see i am pretty tired so we're gonna see if we do anything on this layover or not i did bring gym clothes i definitely want to go to the gym at least but we'll fill out the crew when we get to the airport and see maybe we'll do something with them tonight and then tomorrow we do two legs I think we go back to Charlotte and then we end up in Cancun, so I'm excited about that. It's not super long, but it'll be long enough if we get there on time for me to be able to go out to the beach for a little bit, so I'm excited about that. And then the last day is a long day. We do a turn, or no, we go Cancun to Miami, I think, and then we go Miami to, I think, Punta Cana, and then Punta Cana to Charlotte, so it's a long day. Gonna have to go through customs twice in that day which is going to be a lot but i'll show you guys um throughout the trip what i brought to eat on this trip i had to meal prep a little differently because i'm not like with cancun since we're laying over there like i've heard that they're really weird with crew members about what we can and can't bring food wise like i definitely know no meats and a lot of like no veggies and fruits like fresh stuff but people were saying even some of their packaged stuff like they were taking so i don't really know so we'll see how all of that goes but yeah let's get the new year started look how foggy and misty everything is right now like it's been like this for the past couple days and I don't really know how I feel about it it feels a little weird the garage is packed today so I had to park way far away than where I normally am so hopefully I remember that I'm on the other side and not where I normally am the giant reindeer are still up. I'm the two this trip, so here is my back galley, about to set up the cart for the beverage service before we start boarding. So I packed two yogurts with granola. I put the granola in a little separate thing, but I'm planning on eating both of those before Cancun, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. I also brought this little charcuterie looking thing to snack on, but I only packed one of those. Honestly, this was just lazy girl packing. <laughs> Okay, quick uniform reveal before I change clothes and go meet some of the crew. I've got on heels, um, black. They're kind of um, sheer-ish, but not like super thin sheer. And then skirt, blazer, cross hat shirt. And this is gonna be the look all three days. I am going to Cancun and going to be flying in between islands the third day, but my legs are too pale to wear new tights right now, so we didn't pack any new tights. This is literally what I'm going to look like the next three days. I have a pimple right here that's driving me nuts. This elevator, these buttons look so ancient. <laughs> so the whole crew came out, which was a nice surprise. We went and got barbecue at the mall across the street, and then we just walked around a few shops had a little photo shoot or whatever was going on there i'm not really sure <laughs> luckily the hotel had a connect way to the mall because it was torrential downpouring and we would have been sick that was a fun little crew outing i was not expecting everybody to be there so that was exciting and it sounds like we're all gonna hang out again tomorrow in cancun which will be fun this is the first time in a while where i've had all four crew members go out so that's awesome. But I just changed into gym clothes. I'm gonna do a quick workout in my room and then go run in the, on the treadmill in the gym for a little bit. And then come back, do my devotion, do, um, I told you guys in my last video, I wanted to learn a language as one of my New Year's resolutions. So I just downloaded Duolingo and I'm gonna learn some Spanish words cause I feel like that's a good language to start with. So I need to do my 10 minutes of that when we get back to, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully I get some good rest tonight because this month is about to be hectic for me with working because all my trips are stacked up like back to back to back to back. So I kind of need to get good rest on my layovers. <laughs> so hopefully I can get all that done and still get a good like seven, eight hours of sleep. 
tonight we'll see but our van time is at 5 30 which is really early i didn't think it was going to be that early for some reason but which is really 6 30 our time because kansas city is one hour behind us but yeah i was for some reason i didn't think our um sign in was that early tomorrow but it is, so I still have about 11 hours till sign in. So hopefully I can get all that stuff done and then get in the bed with like eight hours. This was one of the bigger hotel gyms that I have been in. It's not like crazy big or anything, but it had a ton of these little weight machines for your legs, arms, also had tons of treadmills and then around the corner had even more cardio equipment. So I brought pre-packaged coffee on this trip because I was worried that they would take my cold brew <laughs> and throw it away and I didn't want them to throw away that like brand new cold brew breaker. So we have pre-made coffee for breakfast while I do my makeup this morning. I'm on the way down to catch the van. I didn't sleep the best last night. So when we get to Charlotte, we have a three hour sit. So I may go take a nap in the crew room depending on how I feel, but we'll see. Another food thing I packed were these Thick Crunch bars to just snack on throughout the day. We also had the cutest little UM on our flight to Charlotte who came and sat in the back alley with us for a little while. Drew each of us our own little picture and then we got him to do trash. It was the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, he was adorable. We were obsessed with him. <laughs> so this is a new one for me. I'm honestly not sure I even really like tuna, but I was thinking like it's packaged. If I didn't eat it for customs, maybe it'd be fine, but I did packaged rice and oh, just a little bit of tuna for lunch. And then look at the condensation coming off the plane. They've been sending me to all these cold places lately. So it was so nice to finally be somewhere warm. Guys, look at this room. Bathroom is huge. Look at the nice shower. Here's our little coffee bar. I'm not sure how that works. That's fun. Oh, I think here's some instructions right there. Look at the nice beds. And you guys, it smells like the beach in here, which I love. Nice little lounge area, but look at the best part. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love this. <sighs> we didn't have a super long way over, but I had to go out to the beach and put my toes in the water and walk on the beach before I left. It's just, you have to do that. You can't not do that when you're in Cancun. <laughs> Also went out for another crew dinner. Had to get Mexican food, obviously. We picked up a stray Charlotte flight attendant on the way, but we had a blast. We stayed out a little bit longer than I was anticipating. Tonight we have a van time of 7 a.m. and it is 11 o'clock right now, so that's already under the eight hours that I try to get on my other. And I still need to do my devotion and I still need to do my Spanish for the day. So I'm not going to go to bed. I'll probably get like closer to like five or six hours of sleep. Which if I can sleep through the night, it'll be fine. But like last night, I laid down and was going to get eight hours of sleep if I slept through the night. And I kept waking up every hour. So... As long as I don't do that tonight, I'll be okay. But tomorrow is our longest day, so I'm a little bit nervous about <laughs> that. And we have to go to customs twice. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow, so hopefully I get enough sleep to like be fine for tomorrow. But I don't know, when you have a crew that's this good, you just go with the flow and you do what everyone wants to do because we enjoy spending time together. So I'm really happy that that's worked out for this trip. So hopefully I'm not just so exhausted tonight. At least I have a day off before my next trip so I'll be able to get some sleep. So this trip isn't one that I definitely need to get rest on. It'll be the next one. But anyways, we're going to wash our face, do our little finish and then get some rest and then do our longest day tomorrow. Packed the heavy duty coffee for day three because I knew it was going to be <laughs> rough. I still didn't sleep good last night. Like I don't know what's going on with my sleep schedule. 
on trips, it's like I keep waking up in the middle of the night. And this time I didn't wake up as much as I did the first night, but I also wasn't in the bed as long. But I am looking forward to sleeping in my bed tonight because there should not be any issues <laughs> with sleep. But I'm about to do my makeup really quick and then go down and catch the van to head to the airport. Time to go catch the van for the last time this trip. Hopefully all of our legs go fine and we can get home on time. Here's one more uniform check, but I told you basically the same, even though I am at that point where we are not wearing heels anymore. The only difference is the white shirt instead of the cross hatch. But let's go catch the van. It was a long day, but I didn't really record much throughout the day. Here was our ginormous Christmas tree in the lobby. They still had all their Christmas stuff up all throughout Cancun. Something interesting about the airport, once you go through security, it spits you out right into duty free, which is honestly kind of smart because I feel like people end up buying stuff that way, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. We we're on 737 all day here. I'm making my way to the back of the bus. When we made our connection in Miami, I got some food way too much food i got some empanadas of course my favorite but that was pretty much it our trip is over thank goodness it wasn't a bad trip today it wasn't as bad as like i thought it was gonna be it was a long day for sure but customs like it wasn't bad going through like it wasn't bad going into cancun it wasn't bad coming going through miami or through charlotte through the customs like that was all fine but it was a long day, but it, everything went smoothly. So it was good and had a great crew. So that always makes the long days better. I was dying though at some of our leads, PAs that he was making had me laughing like so hard. <laughs> so we were going, you know, back and forth between international destinations yesterday and today. And so he would come on the announcements and he would say like, you know, you can't bring these types of food in or they'll come and find you. He kept saying, or they're gonna come and find you. And then like later he was saying, I know when we land, you wanna take your selfies and your pictures that you're now in. Like this was yesterday for Cancun. He was like, I know you wanna take your pictures in the area that you're in Cancun, but you cannot do that in the customs area or they will come and find you and they will take your phone away and all this stuff which you are it is prohibited for you to be on your phone in the customs area like they don't want you on your phone but it was just the way he was saying it like they're gonna come and find you like he made it seem like they had like cameras watching and they're gonna like come and like get you if you do something wrong and then like with the food stuff like it's more like they'll tell you to throw it out if you have something that you're not supposed to like it's not like you're gonna get arrested unless you lie about bringing something in but I mean his PAs were cracking me up and then leaving Punta Cana it was a big a, like bad storm was coming in so we kind of had a window of when we needed to get out and we weren't able to board right on time because by the time you do plane the other plane and they clean they didn't give us enough turnaround time to board on time so he's making these announcements like, you guys need to get on this plane as quickly as possible. We got to get out quick. And he would say things like, it's up to you. It, <laughs> it starts right here, right now. And he would like say things like that. <laughs> like we were dying in the back. And then on our last flight, we had a passenger who it was their 60th, 60th birthday today. And so they were wearing a shirt that said something about like, I'm 60. Well, him and another one of our flight attendants got on the PA system and start doing this conversation back and forth about, hey, did you see that person with the 60, 60 year birthday <laughs> shirt? And then the other one would be like, yeah. And then like they were doing this whole conversation like for a couple of minutes and then they started singing him happy birthday. It was like people were looking around like what is happening right now? Oh, goodness. But those are the kind of things that makes trips like funny and like you'll remember them like I'll never forget that crew because they were great but anyways I got some ornaments from this trip I got a Cancun one and I got a Kansas City one the Kansas City one I've been carrying around literally since that first night but it's been traveling well I got for the Kansas City one, I got a bottle, a little bottle of barbecue sauce because both times I've been to Kansas City, I went and got barbecue 
so I just felt like that was fitting and it was funny I was telling them like oh I have a destination tree if we go in since we were at the mall I was like if we see anywhere that has ornaments I need to try to find one for Kansas City and I was like a barbecue one would be perfect because I have had barbecue both times I've been here and then we found like this store and they had all kinds of random ornaments and they had a little barbecue one and then I got a little Cancun one just at the beach so that was successful ornament hunting but anyways I need to get home I'm tired I'm ready to get in my bed these three days like especially on the last days when they're this long like by that third flight I'm over it I'm ready to be home I'm just like let me get home I do my job and then I'm like okay <laughs> I'm ready I'm done so I'm ready to be home get in my bed get some good sleep I only have one day off and then I start a four day then I have a three day then I have another three day I'm literally gonna be flying for the next 10 days after tomorrow so pray for me because that's gonna be rough I do have a couple of those trips up to drop or trade we'll see if any of that happens I'm hoping it does but yeah anyways I need to get home that is all for this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it as always any questions comments concerns whatever you want to say put them in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye